The following podcast has been rated Listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. In the walkway, a poop. (laughs) 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 The womb nuke. Uh, I see a picture I do of me naked. <laughs> I'll tell you a picture of me naked, you'll love it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. And alongside me for three straight weeks in a row, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the best DEI hire of all time. Please welcome back Mr. J.P. All right, that's kind of cool. All that right, that is, awesome. that, that is I wasn't cool. happy to be here till just now. <laughs> Why don't I get any intro music? Uh, I will. Uh, and also, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back the very funny traveling comedian. Please welcome Mr. Steve Peters. <laughs> Yay. All right. <laughs> I'm just wow. kidding. Uh, isn't, yeah. that, isn't that when they're putting old Yeller down? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, that's awesome. awesome. Well, and I finally got uh, authorized to let everybody know the reason why Derek has been uh, missing from this podcast for three or four or five straight weeks is mm-hmm. unfortunately they're finally going to have to amputate his right foot. Uh, finally, the diabetes got a hold of him. So that's going to happen. Well, here's the thing, man. <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm shocked it took this long. <laughs> For one. For two. I think they should take the left one while they're at it. Just, just get it well. out of the way. Just get it it's over just with. Just like a chick with breast cancer. Just take them both. We're on the know? same page. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking just take both his legs completely. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. He doesn't just use them anyway. Just below the knee. Below the, the knee will be fine. The worst possible yeah, thing that could happen fine. with Derek on that is if they just take away both of his middle fingers. <laughs> just, <laughs> oh, the, his life's going to awesome. suck him. No, I'm just kidding. He, he's got baseball this week. Uh, he's been spending time with his wife over the last couple. So uh, we miss him. But uh, he'll be at the comedy show that's coming up right around the corner. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's going to be uh, The comedy showdown. Week. Yeah. It'll be, uh, actually, I think it's this coming Saturday, if I remember correctly. Sunday. 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 I apologize. Sunday. Five thirty p.m. Boy, because that's Scotty's when really comedy excited. shows happen. Five yeah. thirty is perfect. Yeah. Five thirty p.m. on a Sunday. Perfect. Everybody loves comedy at uh-huh. that time, right? Yeah, it's so you can come get fucked it's up and go, go to really work, well. hung over as hell. I that's, guess. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. But it's going to be a great show. There's a lot of comedians that are going to be there, including these two guys to my yep. right. Yep. Um, Derek Alders will be there. Yep. Travis Cagle, uh, which is JP's crush, will also be there hosting. Oh, that yes, little fellow has been on this show before. He sure yes. has. Yeah. And uh, JP is going to be trying to get him I'm drunk get as him possible. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, but no, there's a whole bunch of other good comedians that are going to be there, especially from the Wichita area. Felix Johnson is another one. Uh, but yeah, please come out. If uh, you're in the Wichita area, it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, I will be there as well, signing autographs and stuff like that, because mm-hmm. um, I know you want it. Right. All right. That's <laughs> awesome. I was waiting for a fucking like I love it. diss after Dude, that. If you don't come, <laughs> if you don't come with headshots, I'm gonna be very disappointed. <laughs> no, I actually did think about getting a whole bunch of like laughing on the sidelines thing, like has our logo with all of our faces on it and sign it and give them to a couple of people. I thought that would be pretty cool. That I love be it. Pretty cool, yeah. man. You should get some headshots done while you're at <laughs> Yeah, I would too. And, uh, I already do have headshots. You do? Uh, but back when my wife was a photographer, of course I do. Oh, I was. Uh, it, no. was a, it was a training. We're talking like yeah, face. but that's when you were naked oh, with your yeah, socks right. on. Oh. Nobody needs to see that. Oh, dude. all right, oh, fine, my God. whatever. Uh, but anyway, anyways, we have an excellent show for you guys this week. It, we are uh, also recording on a Sunday. I feel like she's yeah. not a photographer anymore because you are her fucking. I, exactly. <laughs> she was like, fucked it up. He she broke took, the camera. Took, yeah, yeah, she took him to class. She's like, Is it, aren't these great? And they're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, no. You're not going to pass. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, no. She she uh, decided that she just didn't want to do it anymore. Uh, actually, that was after taking Derek's headshots. And oh, then well. she decided to quit. So anyway, uh, we do. should have taken <laughs> 
some feet shots <laughs> <laughs> so he could be reminded of what he used to have. That's right. Uh, but we have an excellent episode this week. We, uh, of course, have hot topics, and uh, we have Never Have I Ever. That's where I draw the line. Questions and preguntas, a draft, and as always, we wrap this thing up with a shitty situation. But we kick every show off the same way, and that is telling everybody what's happened to us over the last week, and we call it our week, week recap. And so, JP, the magic of your week. I mean, it's been, what, five days? Yeah, something like that. So I, uh, what did you do? I did the normal shit. Yeah. I smoked pot. Yeah. I played video games. Mm-hmm. I uh, My twin nieces had a birthday party last night, a little poker birthday party. Oh, cool. And, did you uh, take money from the kids? <laughs> you did, didn't you? You fucking asshole. They're 20. <laughs> That's okay. awesome. I mean, Jesus, so, what a prick. Yeah, did that. And uh, I found out that uh, they're twins and Madison... Her boyfriend is a uh, like says he never misses a show. Is the really? other yeah. is the other yeah. one's name Avenue? <laughs> that no. would be awesome. <laughs> what? Hey man, we're talking. <laughs> okay, man. You just sit over there and look pretty. That's all we need you to do. Yeah. That's all I'm good at. <laughs> oh Jesus! Uh, but anyway, so anyway, yeah, I found out that uh, he's an avid watcher of the show nice. and a nice. big fan. I'm not surprised. I'm not. But uh, JP's yeah, the star of the show. I guess they they were. He was watching something, maybe even an episode, and um, she heard my voice, and she was like, "Hey, that's my uncle." And he's like, "No way!" <laughs> <laughs> and so yeah, that's now awesome. I'm trying to molest. Them. <laughs> okay. but, no, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Over the age of twenty. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, oh, he's he's drinking age, so okay. he's good to go. Perfect. No, nice. but they're they're sweet. I love them to death, and it was a really good time. Uh, but that's about all I did. Really? really? Yeah. That's it. I mean, I've only been gone for a week. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's fair not enough. Not really yeah. a week. But as customary, because we know that JP's not going to have a whole lot to talk about, we take a question every once in a while from the Facebook, Instagram, Twitter fans, and we have one this week. And this one comes in from Braxton Lint. He wants to know, when a man has surgery to become a woman, that, okay, hold on, let me correct that. Uh, when a man has surgery to become a trans woman, is it a turnoff for gay guys or is it an exception? Yeah, but they're a woman now. No, they're not. Right? Like, no, so, they're not. Well, I know, but the, but they the got parts a, the, and stuff are. So they cut the one part off that I was fucking <laughs> looking for. Yeah. Honestly, here's the thing. <clears throat> and this is not going to be a very popular opinion. <laughs> okay. No. Uh-oh. Honestly, I think if I fall in love with somebody, I don't care. Yeah, that's you true. You know what I mean? Like, I agree. At this point in my life, I've fucking gone for fucking money. Did, I've gone for fucking hotness. I've got, I've gone for. Did everything. you hear that, None ladies? You've out. got a chance. Got a shot. Oh, for <laughs> sure, for sure. If pink, pink uh huh. If she's listening right now, mm-hmm. dude. Yeah. I think we should I be together. It. Okay. Yeah. Like I would fucking do. I would. Yeah. But I, it's got to be that caliber. You know what I mean? 100%. For a woman. Absolutely. But any dude will do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no. Which one I was going to bring up. I think it is a turnoff because for me, it would be a turnoff because that's what I want. Right. Like, sure. I'm not trying to fucking. Absolutely. It. But at the same time, if I met somebody that was trans and I fucking clicked and had feelings you know i'm not opposed i'm not like what about a dog a dog yeah a dog you fall in love with a dog where are we going with this dude? <laughs> oh my god i don't like I love this how we went from all. trans well, to you a bestiality you said fl- seamlessly he I don't said like any doodle do i figured he was talking about like a labradoodle or something yeah like there that. you go yeah so i was just kind of going off of that okay here's the thing man <laughs> maybe we should just start no. this over <laughs> we'll be and right back i'm gonna tell you why <laughs> And then you, you dude, watch the first five minutes of this and then ask yourself, why don't people like me? <laughs> and then never ask me that question again. Okay, fair enough. But no, I mean, yeah. yes, I think it's a turn off. Yeah. Because I'm not going to want to fucking. Yeah. Yeah. But. Makes sense. I whatever. was at a, I was doing a comedy show in Orange County one time and. And did you fuck a dog? Not. <laughs> well, oh, I mean, that was well, after the show. I got real fuck? drunk, but it was a donkey. No, I. uh <laughs> I was at the show and there was a comedian that went up that was not funny. Um, I think it was just more of a therapy session. And the guy that I was with, Daniel, he he said he was like, that used to be my science teacher. And he goes, she was hot. And then she had transitioned into male oh, um, and was dating worst. women and then retransitioned back to 
female and started dating women as a less yeah i don't know i couldn't fault like it was <laughs> it was full circle like all what? the way. so obviously i don't believe any parts were ever altered but um that was confusing oh to yeah. Me. yeah that was very very confusing so maybe you could find that jp it where reminds she me. could just or he could just just whatever you feel like that day that you know what story, i mean yeah. like best of both yeah. worlds man that story reminds me <laughs> of uh that part in the office where michael's getting the vasectomy and he's like and then he gets a reverse. He's like, snip, snap, snip, snap. snap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What kind of toll for vasectomies take that on was, a man? That was wild as like, shit. Dude, like, I was like, crazy. I was like trying to follow that. Like, wait, what? And it was, they were, so she became a man, then started dating men, and then started dating women, then became a woman, and then started dating women, and then started dating men again. So it oh. was like complete full circle. Like, uh, like she tried every gender, every relationship everything i yeah. mean she's well traveled here's the thing she's they say well don't knock it until it you try it i guess so it was uh that was it. that was that to me i was <laughs> like wait what yeah it was wild no for me i would think like if anything you would want a trans person who has big tits and a dick like that would be your fate wouldn't it no. well we know I'd what like kind the, of porn scotty's watching <laughs> well <laughs> yeah dog porn <laughs> wow wow oh no my but th that would make sense because you've even said on the show that you like boobs i like tits yeah i, mean, I like there you go but, but i don't i don't want to like dive into a pair of them oh. or anything i don't want them on Whoa. my boyfriend okay that's weird <laughs> so if your dude had tits i wouldn't like that okay, okay. i was gonna say i mean you can just yeah. date a fat guy too <laughs> right so that'd be yeah De slash right. be, Derek. Yeah. Derek, there with, you go. With a no, peg, with no, a peg foot. because now he's not. Yeah, he's <laughs> gonna be footless. Yeah, now you have to wheel him around <laughs> everywhere. Wheel around he goes. everywhere. Yeah, yeah, fuck that. that. Sucks. Gonna, I'm gonna get him a rascal. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna oh, be wow. pulling up with the fucking stereo blasting. Beep, foot beep. loose. <laughs> foot <laughs> loose. Oh uh, shit! All That's right. That's awesome. Anyways, okay. Uh, now we're gonna move on to Mr. Steve Peters. Yes, quite I, a week. I do have to say, uh, from last week, that that rant that happened at the end of uh, was the episode awesome. was absolutely awesome, and everybody loved well, it. So that was. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> okay. We'll see. What we can, I, I bet uh, we can come up with something. You want to know what really grinds my gears? <laughs> I uh, I did uh, not a lot this week, but I did go to a movie yesterday with my family good for you uh, yeah we went and saw the movie twisters and it was so, corny as fuck <laughs> i thought it was dumb okay. i thought it was very very dumb <laughs> helen hunt's tits are way better than <laughs> whatever that chick's name was okay uh i don't know i thought it was i thought it was dumb but here's here's the part that like fucked me up the worst is wicked the another wizard of oz movie is coming out right and they showed a trailer to it and it was very <laughs> it was very quick to figure out that they're basically making the wicked witch of the west uh -huh. just misunderstood okay. like she was bullied into that situation right and basically the good witch was just kind of this mean girls type shit that right. was going on yeah and I was like, dude, fuck that. Like, we can all agree when they melted that bitch that it was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck off, right. you know? Yeah. And now you're you're supposed to be sympathetic yeah, to I know. her. Yeah, and I, know. I fucking hate that I, shit, I, dude. I hate that. Just fucking, leave her the... Dude. You gotta have a villain. And they were sisters. Now, now let me let me go back and say, now, when they initially did the first... I don't I know if it was... Know. I don't know if it was Wicked or if it was something else, but I mm -hmm. believe it was... Uh, it oh. wasn't The Wiz, because he wouldn't have been watching that one. No, <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, God damn it. Who is um, the girl that played in that 70s show? What's her name? Who's absolutely drop-dead gorgeous? Mila Kunis. Mila Kunis. Or, yeah. Mila Kunis was the Wicked Witch in one of them, <laughs> and my God, she was so sexy in that Wizard of Oz thing. She was the Wicked Witch, and she was hot. Yeah. I'm just saying. Just yeah, throw it, throw I don't know. There. I just thought that that was kind of like kinda sketch. stop fucking around. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I agree. Fuck trying off. to make the whole world depressed. Yeah, that's yeah. what they're yeah, doing. Yeah, that's exactly oh, what it they're is. They're trying to be and like, just, are you fucked like, in the head? This is fucking it's okay. Stupid. The wicked witch was fucked in the head, but <laughs> yeah. here's why. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wait, I don't like it. Wait till he gets a hot topic. She has an army of flying monkeys that literally she sends down to kill an entire. Care for monkeys already? Well, I mean, that's probably why. Dude, they kill everything. Like they fuck everything. Horrible. Up. It's They're horrible. I mean, like, people. I don't like. What are they gonna do next? Like now, like the Oompa Loompas are gonna be normal sized. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Like yeah. fuck that, dude. I don't. I don't know. It's, yep. I'm with you. LeBron is not an Oompa Loompa. No. It's just all there is to Did it. You know, the Oompa Loompas were 
like uh, slaves, man. Yeah, they were. Yeah. And well, you know what they say, slavery gets shit done. So that's, uh, that's <laughs> oh I mean, who God. the fuck do you think builds a yellow brick road that's fucking millions <laughs> of mean, miles long? It's, it's nobody's got a going point. to there. Yeah. Got a point. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Does right, have a point, was, though. <laughs> no, One hell it's, of a tangent. It's, it's been a good run. <laughs> and I've say, had fun. I was going to say, I enjoy uh, it. laughing on the sidelines does not actually want slavery. Yeah, all right. <laughs> slavery does still happen in the world. It does. Everybody thinks it only happened here once, but yeah. it happens all over as we speak right now. Correct, but, Mundo. Uh, no, I didn't. We're I didn't, just not I guess taking I never, advantage of I guess it I here. never saw the Oompa Loompas as slaves. Maybe I missed that part. Yeah, it I was guess. kind of their backstory. Yeah, they um, had a whole... When was thing. this? When uh, did... Uh, dude, the original movie. Yeah. yeah what? Yeah, the original movie. He oh. was talking... Yeah, Willy Wonka was talking about yeah, how were, he went over to some country where they all lived and they were getting gobbled up one by one uh, by some monster. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so he saved their lives? Yeah. Well, did he? Yeah, did he? Because now they're going <laughs> to well, make fucking being candy eaten. every day. <laughs> right. Yeah, now they live in a palace with candy, and they can swim in chocolate rivers. No, but what you, you don't can't know, swim you in cannot the swim in the you chocolate swim river. In no, no, no that's bad. No, that's bad. What? Why? Uh, that makes the chocolate t- uh, chocolate taste like shit. Yeah. Uh, also, because they get their little oompa loompa weenies in there. <laughs> a, lot of, <laughs> a, a lot of people don't know this, but a loompa loompa is allergic to candy. Oh, I did not know that. What? So, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's why they're orange. Where did you hear this? That's, that's why they're green that's or why whatever. They're orange. Yeah. All right. That's why they, their skin. I used to rash. watch a. I used to watch a show called Robot Chicken. Oh, oh I love God, Robot I Chicken. love it so much. And uh, there's an episode of Willy Wonka on there, <laughs> and and you can lick the wallpaper, and somebody was like, "This wallpaper tastes musty." And then Willy Wonka hits the wall, and he goes, "A damn Oompa Loompas," because they were using it as a glory hole. All right. Anyway, uh, anything I, uh, else? How's how's uh, how's the wife doing? Doing good, man. Yeah, that's doing good. good. She's uh, got one more chemo treatment that starts on the Monday. Mm. Well, um, we're all hoping that she does well. I still well. don't believe that the Oompa Loompas were slaves. Like, no, I'm not were. wrapping my head around. And allergic to candy. Yeah. They I, were. No, I don't. I okay. Don't I'm telling you, man. All right. We're going to have to Google but, that. But, That's, Steve, last week you were complaining because nobody ever <laughs> asked you a direct question. Yeah, it's very true. And you had like fucking four of them, and I just had to pick one out. Okay. And so I picked one from Wes Rackley. Sounds and like I, a nice I think guy. it's a, I think it's a legitimate question. He actually okay. he actually wants to know how do you juggle all of your life situations so well from your job comedy stuff and your wife's chemotherapy. Well, to be very honest with you, comedy has completely fallen off the radar. I've done <laughs> zero of it at all just cuz I've had to like drop something and that was what I dropped. Yeah. Um and so with the job stuff, I've had to run the bar too cuz she can't and that she's always been the one that all she's ever done is run the bar. I've never ever like written a check or you know what i mean like i've never done anything with the bar at all plus if you've ever had steve as a bartender oh, it's a, not good <laughs> it's not good there's a lot, it's not good there's a lot of alcohol that doesn't get paid for <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean yeah. we're out of this already <laughs> yeah i'm uh i'm really good at having a party i'm just really bad at charging for it so uh but i never have except for one day missed any of her appointments or chemotherapies or anything like that so it, it's been rough man it's uh the guy that i'm working for building decks right now is uh he's super cool and super like laid back about it it's so good. it's helped a lot but dude it's fucking busy all the time like mm-hmm. there's no uh, there's not a lot of like relaxing at yeah. all which sucks man it really <sighs> does but that was a great fucking question. Yeah, no, Wes it is. is. Wes is dope. Yeah, like Wes. It. But and, and real, I'm being honest because I, I I actually talked to Steve off the show, and the thing that he does probably not more better. Really. I don't try. To <laughs> that's not cool. Yeah, I, I don't blocked. think you're supposed to say that on but, air. Yeah, dude. I haven't that's blocked up. on my phone. He can't mm. call me. But, <laughs> so but I have a PFA. It is still. It is actually still comedy it helps with that too because you write jokes that are kind. Oh, of I do. Yeah, dark, I still, dark humor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. I still write jokes and all that stuff. I just don't. I just don't have a chance to get on stage and there was a time like a week or two ago where i was like fuck man i've got like five minutes of brand new shit or six minutes or whatever i really want to try this out and there was nowhere to do that at. <laughs> so it's like <laughs> son of a bitch but, but but if but this weekend this coming weekend you will have that opportunity uh, i actually am doing some new stuff this weekend good deal sure. yeah. I'm, I'm excited and thursday at vorshay's is open mic so i'm gonna run my set on uh, thursday that's good see yeah Okay. Well, so yeah. Also, go out to Vorshays on Thursdays. So that oh, yeah, Vorshays will have T.J. Miller. 
Oh, uh, nice. October <laughs> something. Not the 13th, because that's a Sunday, if I remember correctly. That's it is October 17th, Thursday. Oh, okay. You may recognize him from Deadpool 1 and 2. Or I liked him in the Christmas movie, whatever. Oh, okay. Office Christmas party? Yeah, was, oh, yeah, 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 that was awesome. Yeah, yeah. Good deal. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, uh, I guess uh, we'll get on to uh, my week. Uh, first of all, I don't know Can't if I've wait. I, well, I don't know if I've I've said this on the show. I may have because because I've had a, a bunch of them over the last couple weeks. But solicitors suck. Uh, I fucking hate them. I hate it when people get off my lawn. I fucking hate it when they come up and they try to sell me shit. It's and now I just don't answer. And I have a sign right above my doorbell that actually says "No soliciting." Please don't make it weird. And they don't give a fuck. <laughs> so I fucking hate them. What? <laughs> JP is just looking at Steve, and I don't understand. Dude, he's going to be on that commercial where it's like when you're turning into your parents or whatever. Oh, I, don't care. <laughs> I guarantee he pulls out his cell phone right now. It's a jitterbug. Uh, yeah. No. And yeah. fucking big old buttons. Yep, so guarantee No, I just... He I, locks his trash cans. Stay off the lawn! <laughs> if, if I want he something... locks his trash cans. <laughs> 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 No, I don't lock my fucking trash cans. Yeah, he does. Uh, no, he but does. if I'm interested in something, I'm going to do my own oh my research. God. I don't need you to come to my house to sell. And the thing is, is I feel uh, bad. I really do feel bad. You should bad. feel bad for hanging a sign on your front That's door. That's the part. That's Why? the part. That's because just like, fucking 90-year-old right. people do that. I will fucking, say, this well, This goes back to my... door. This, Tell them I, to fuck off. No. Okay, so uh, on that topic, uh, this did happen this week. Um I don't know how my telephone number got given to like, I think it was like all states exteriors or something like that. I'm not sure. Woodbridge or something. Mm -hmm. um, on Tuesday morning, they called me four times in a row and I answered all four times. Uh, the first three times I told them, no, I'm not interested. I own a construction <laughs> company. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, I'm not interested. I own a construction company. I've installed more fucking replacement windows than I can count. I, I'm, I'm good. I don't know how you got my number or whatever. So after the third time of doing that, and it's the same company that just robo calls you, uh -huh. uh, the fourth call within, it was in, within like an hour, the fourth call, I said, yep, uh, come on out and give me a bid. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, really? And I'm like, yeah, come on out. So uh, then they put me through to the to the operator that schedules, and so I'm just like, you know what, fuck it. If you're gonna waste my time, I'm gonna waste yours too. So I'm I have brand new vinyl windows on my house, so you can come out and just check them out and then <laughs> leave. Like I'm not, I'm just like, fuck off. You know, like I mean, three times is enough. Like yeah. you know, in an hour, absolutely tell you no. it is. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, no, I agree. So that's uh, my old man <laughs> thing. Window, the window people are the, are the worst. Oh, fuck, so or after rude, a dude. or after so a uh, hailstorm. Oh my god! Oh, first, oh, fuck. It's fuck. so bad, dude. It's so bad. Yep, yeah. I agree. But I feel I, I do also feel bad for people that have that job uh, because I don't want to yell at them. They're trying to make a living. I just think that those people are also pieces of shit for wanting to go after those particular jobs. So <laughs> kind of you know potato potato kind of thing. Yeah, so, that's <laughs> coming from a guy that works at a car dealership. <laughs> I'm with the service department. I'm the guy you call when you need me. I don't ever call you. Just saying. Uh, but no. You call me sometimes. The Bears are undefeated. Just too, to check to see if you're doing okay. Or you text me, you up? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I did text he him always that. always is. I did text him that today you because up. he was running behind to get over here to do the show. Let's see. Uh, but yeah, so the other announcement that, uh, I guess I have to make is that on, uh, September the 14th, uh, me and my wife are going to be celebrating our 10 year anniversary in Florida. Yay. Man, that let, seems me, fitting. let me tell you how excited I am to do that. Uh, you are excited. No, I'm not. You I should be. I had a reservation already for here in town going to the Ambassador, which is where uh, after we got married, that's where we stayed the night mm -hmm. at the Ambassador. I actually had a reservation at the restaurant, the very nice restaurant in the Ambassador. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had all of this stuff planned. And then my brother and his wife said, hey, we're, uh, we're actually going back to Disney for some really nice like uh universal and disney tour thing you guys that would be awesome if you guys could come and naturally my wife went oh we can do that we can do that you guys should follow the plus oh. size park hoppers oh, oh. plus yeah. size park hoppers you should just not go to florida and take her to the ambassador that's uh, way better it's not that <laughs> 
Like I'm, I'm thinking ten year anniversary, and that's what you fucking came up with, man. I mean, I got it, dude. That Christ. is a little. That's a little. That's weak. what she wanted initially. No, I doubt that. That's I, not I doubt true. she was being she, nice. She was being if nice, she said man. that, she was just being nice. Let's just go to a nice dinner and stay yeah, the fuck that. No, no woman wants to just say For the ten ambassador. year anniversary. I love my wife. She's like, oh, I'm gonna go fuck a guy with his socks on at the ambassador. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna be amazing. Yeah. Uh, I love I love I, I, I love my wife for this very reason. We are not big like uh, anniversary kind of people. It's because you're a piece of shit. And she knows <laughs> she knows she's not going to get it, so she's just like, "Yeah, I'll deal with it." I All right, that's it. probably true. No, yeah, yeah that's hundred percent. That's true. Uh, but yeah. she is the type of person that would love for you to do something crazy cool. Yeah. You know, for your ten year anniversary. Yeah. I guarantee it. You're probably right. No, I know I'm right. I know, but that's okay. So, man. so well, that and so that way, I decided to go along with the last fucking anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> so I just so we decided yes, we're going to go to Florida and uh, have a good time, do all the fancy restaurants things. So I'm very excited to do that. Nice. But that also means that I need somebody to watch my dog. So JP is going to have to step up for that. Maybe nice. I'm going to stay at Scotty's house. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to come on everything. <laughs> That's awesome. Even, I mean, even the dogs, it sounds yeah. like. Yeah, well, apparently, I'm surprised he trusts me here. With yeah, them. I know. Yeah. You guys are going to you're gonna be married to the dogs yeah. when he gets back. Yeah, yeah. Of We're going to have a little wedding. Freddie yeah. would look cute as shit in tux. <laughs> he would. He would. <laughs> I mean, he would, but, uh, uh, but no. A little, so, little skirt for Marshall for... Yeah, uh, so the, the last thing, I, I figured, Steve, you'd probably enjoy this. I learned something. <laughs> Uh, I watch I watch a podcast every single week, and they always have different guests. Well, this week they had on uh, a guest uh, from New Zealand. And what podcast is this? I'll tell you about it off air. Uh, but they had a guest on from New Zealand. Must Ze be political. <laughs> no, it's not. It's they're actually really not. Um, mein Kampf. <laughs> no. Does it start with an N and end with an S? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, but you could just say Joe Rogan. It's no, it's, it's, yeah, it's, dude, no. just tell everyone. It's my favorite podcast. It's the unsubscribe podcast. Okay. Uh, but anyways, Ooh, they had, they had on the family from, uh, New Zealand and they were talking about like rules about owning guns in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. Do you know what their laws are for handguns? No idea. So in order to got, to get a handgun or any gun for that matter, you have to have somebody come to your house and actually do an interview with your spouse or significant other to see oh, if fuck. you if they feel like you are mentally capable of owning a firearm. So I definitely wouldn't be getting any guns. 100%. Neither <laughs> would I. Uh, yeah. the, the, yeah. Now, they'd talk to her and just be like, we can't give him a gun because he might have to fucking kill this shit. <laughs> yeah. So that's one thing. But the thing that like fucking I was really wigged out upon was whenever they were actually talking about owning a handgun like most people that own handguns in new zealand actually mm -hmm. are a part of a competition like range to where they go and, and oh, compete. nice yeah um the only problem is is that if you stop showing up to said gun range co for competitions uh for like after 30 days they start calling you and then they show up to your house and why aren't you why aren't you going and using this whenever you have a handgun so oh. i thought that was kind of weird but the weirdest out of all of it was if you were going to drive to said gun um range to compete or whatever you actually have to call the police first there's a new zealand gang member that is the scariest <laughs> human being i've ever seen in my fucking life yeah, no like how, dude i wouldn't go to new zealand <laughs> Without no. a gun. Dude, if that guy tapped you on the shoulder and he goes, pardon me, you have the time, <laughs> I would just run. <laughs> like, that well, is a scary looking I mean, motherfucker, dude. Dude, it's a fucking Neanderthal. Oh my That's God. what it is. Wow. That guy looks like a wow. wolf. Yeah, it's it's this shit is not. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, I'm not, going. not good. But what Look I was saying, and if it's like Moana went fucking rogue, dude. <laughs> oh my God. Holy shit. Wow. Uh, but no, you have to call the police and let them know that you're going to be on the road uh, carrying a gun. Like, you have to do that. Shut up. I'm Are dead you serious? serious? Yes, I'm dead serious. I'm going to be driving from this place What's to this place, place and, I will, and I'm going to have my gun. 100%. You have to Looks do that. Looks like you might need more than a gun. Yeah. From the looks of these dudes, they don't need guns. Absolutely. No. Those but, guys are terrifying. Yeah. I was like, holy shit. That's absolutely crazy. Uh, here in America, we put them in the back glass of our truck. Yeah. yeah. Well, they used to. Or we they hang them to. out the window and go, <laughs> yee-haw! <laughs> that's when we're riding horses, dude, uh, with cowboy hats on. All right. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, but anyways, uh, moving on, I want to give a shout out to uh, M Mullet Mule. Uh, he was the guy from Sacramento, California that came to the, to the live awesome. show. 
he came to the he live show. To, he comes to Vorshays all the time. Yeah, uh, he always comes in to say hi to Steve and stuff like that. But and yeah, I'm never there. And he's never there. <laughs> uh, but uh, anyway, well, I mean, happy, anymore I am. But yeah, happy birthday to Mullet Mule. Uh, Hell and, yeah! Uh, and as happy always, birthday. guys, uh, the Padres che- fan. Yeah, he is a Padres fan. Uh, but the cheapest way to support the show is to drop a like, leave a comment, and if you aren't already, please do us a favor and subscribe. Also, those comments and likes do help us out, even if we are not getting paid to do this episode on YouTube, because you know what? Fuck them. Uh, uh-huh. That's the thing. Uh-huh. But as we always like to say, guys, this is a comedy show where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. Uh, this is also a uh, adult podcast where we like to use foul language and make loud noises, so if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place, get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. Let's move on to hot topics. What? Didn't you already say all that once? Nope. I thought I, he did. I no, thought he opened I, with that. No, I, I used to. That's but what I, I thought, too. That should I be the first decided, thing. He's just, changing shit up I, all of a sudden. I'm changing it up. Well, here's an idea. How about we change this up? So we're <laughs> no. 20 minutes into like, this I'm, thing, I'm and you finally gave him a fucking... You just threw a dick, too. I, I love did. that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've been doing while Scotty's been talking. Oh, my gosh. Thanks, um, anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Can we move on to hot topics now? Sure, I, I guess. guess if that's the epi- if that's the way you want it now. I mean, it is. Okay, I guess. Okay. Whatever you want, right. man. Thanks, man. We're just here to fucking make you look good. That's what I I know, but you do an excellent job Thank at you. it, anyways, JP. Thank Thanks, you very man. much. Anyways, I, for a I know. <laughs> I, I bet I you really are. needed to hear that. Today. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, just so depressed, JP. I am. That's okay. It's As gonna... I should be. Oh, yeah, Jesus it, Christ, what true. do I have to not be depressed about? Have you seen my car? It has four different wheels, four different tires <laughs> yes. on the wheels. Yeah, it's true. Like, no, nah, man. Oh, poor it's guy. Not, uh, things aren't going well. We need to go fund me for JP. Fuck yeah. <laughs> like, you ain't kidding. telling you, dude. OnlyFans. <sighs> I'm, I'm telling you. too old and fat for that. Now. No, I think somebody... You know what will happen? This is what will Speaking happen. Speaking of OnlyFans, did what? we see the pole vaulter who twerked after she won the gold medal and she's actually an OnlyFans star? That actually was going to be the first thing to come up on Hot Topics. Come oh. on, Steve. Are you no. sure? Fuck it up. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't see it here remember, anywhere. Remember I said all of the Hot Topics, go ahead and just take them completely out because I changed them all because <laughs> I wrote this no, on I Friday. No, I don't remember you saying oh. that. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, oh. so yes, the Australian... For anyone that does <laughs> doesn't know scotty's little fucking nerd ass gives us this outline of what the show is going to be before we actually start the yeah. show and then apparently doesn't and follow then apparently it doesn't look at follow this. Look his at all own these changes. little yeah dude I, wow i did i'm sorry the one well, anyway time I, the one time i came prepared no bullshit. okay but are we going to talk about the super hot swimmer that yeah. got kicked out of the uh, olympic village because she's a whore yeah because <laughs> she's my favorite she's well, like that and, yeah perfect this is what i wanted to do Dude, was talk about this how could you if i was her i would fuck at, the olympic dudes are hot they're all in great shape no kidding yep. the ones from france have giant penises <laughs> obviously <laughs> how would you not I'd fuck everyone I don't understand. That's what you do at the Olympic Village. Of course. Everybody has known it for the mm-hmm. last hundred years or They've, whatever. These people have been training for so long, taken away from all that. Yeah. And now they put them all together and go, don't fuck. Whatever you do, I'm gonna put don't you, fuck. Yeah. I'm going to put you in a hotel with, these, with, the, with the most people. attractive people yeah. on the face of the earth in the exact same age range, Except which for is the, over uh, the age of 18 yeah. for most of them. But I'm going to put you in the same room, kind of like college dormitories, and I'm going to expect you not to fuck each other. Go. Oh, good luck. Yeah, good fucking luck. I'd okay. be fucking lots of dudes. I, if I were single, I'd be doing the exact opposite of what you just said. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's cool. More for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, what are you fucking shocked? Yeah. Get the fuck over it's yourself. Crazy. It's insane. I, I think they're just shocked at the mere numbers of <laughs> uh, what she's done. Nah, uh, no, I'm not. No. No. I'm not either, but. She's the hawk to a chick of the Olympics. Oh, she sure is. Yeah, and so oh, it's, okay. Yeah. it's okay. Yeah, for sure. She hawked, she toed. I know. Yeah. Fucking. And I bet you she was she was being seeked out oh. after finding out. It's like, hey, go to that chick's Have room. Have you fucked the fucking, what, where is she from? Not a clue. Yeah. Uh, Steve brought it up. She's from the United States of America. <laughs> is she really? Yeah. She's American. Oh, you, yeah. you possibly, She's my hero. You can possibly become an American yeah. citizen if you marry this chick. Yeah. And, I mean, yeah, she's there uh, is nice, way more nice incentives lady. for this. Dude, we're, we got to find out where she's from exactly. Um, and meet, hang on. I'm and trying to figure it out. Watch right? meet, her play, meet her plane at the airport and just. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Slow no, clap that was, shit oh, all the way she down. Is, she is extremely attractive. Well, too. then see, then why are you complaining? 
Who the Uh, fuck is tattletaling is the other thing I want to know. There she is. Her name is Luana Alonzo. Oh, okay. Does it say where she's from? Dude. Yeah, she's Even hot. JP's I'd like, fuck her. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Just, just to taste the other dick that's been in there, you know what oh I mean? Yep, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I, uh, oh, I wanted, to say, I wanted to say something just Paraguay. Now, she is from Paraguay. Oh, she's not Paraguay. from the or not from America? Of now I have not. to become a Paraguayan. <laughs> or what, I don't know what they're called. Uh, well, I mean, close enough, I'm guessing. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, mm. But yes, but then you also have the OnlyFans chick, the the um, pole vaulter, Canadian pole vaulter. She got Good for thir- her, dude. She got third place, and then she twerked, and everybody's just like, oh. yeah. No. no, she got the gold. I thought. No, she got bronze. Oh, that but sucks. it doesn't matter. Yeah, she twerked after she she mm. got the bronze, and everybody that oh, look, Steve's already subscribed. <laughs> well, I mean, it's you know you gotta support you gotta support you gotta these sub- poor athletes. No I mean, kidding. you don't want them to go broke. No, I just can't under. I don't understand. Like all of a sudden, we're freaking out because a couple of chicks are doing chick things, and one of them has an OnlyFans account, but. But everybody well, was being told about the fucking entrance ceremony from the Olympics, and everybody's like, "Hey, you need to ch- you need to chill out, okay? We were trying to do this Greek mythology bullshit." The chick with the o- the chick with the OnlyFans account cannot <laughs> go into the fucking Olympics because she's a professional, <laughs> <laughs> gets paid for it. So, dang it, I, I know. damn it, it sucks. No, it's so hypocritical. which I don't understand how the fuck LeBron James, Steph Curry. KD, like all those people are able to play on an Olympic basketball team because they're professional athletes. They can. It, it, I don't know. Either. I've never I understood don't know the that. Rules, because supposedly care. you're not supposed to make money from the sport that you're in before you enter the Olympics. I mean, I think Otherwise, they, change, I think they probably change the rules for that. I'm guessing. I don't know. I don't huh. care. Um, but they did win the gold. So Somebody's yelling at yeah. their fucking <laughs> radio right now going, no, you idiot. It's this fucking, <laughs> yeah, it's the right. Geneva Convention or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's the Geneva Convention. I just love to think about that sometimes. When I say some of the stupid shit that I say on here, people oh, yeah. are like, no, you fucking moron. It was the, oh, uh, all right. There was one other thing I was going to say. <laughs> there was one, uh, one other thing I would like to add. But anyway. We'll, Go we'll, for it. Go for it. Uh, it. It's completely off topic. It was on my week week recap. Oh, I, I completely don't care. forgot. Go for it. Oh, I found out that uh, one of my favorite politicians is on the terror watch list now. Oh, who's and that? And it fucking pissed me off. Her name is Tulsi Gabbard. Oh, oh no. On July 25th, oh. on July 25th, she made a statement on Fox News that said that the government is being run by unelected members of the military industrial complex that wants to keep the u.s in forever wars so that they can make lots of money and the very next day she was on the u.s terror watch list now when she flies this is every single time she flies there's a tsa analyst assigned to her there's a plain clothes tsa supervisor assigned to her there are two k9 detection teams assigned to her and there are three federal air marshals assigned to her Man, every it's gonna be hard time, to smuggle drugs now. every time <laughs> she fucking flies I told my wife, I was like, dude, I would fly from East Wichita to West Wichita. Like, I would fly every fucking chance I got just to fuck with them. I because do, I do you do. understand how expensive that is? Yeah. But just to th- do that. But the thing that sucks is it's paid by taxpayers. I know. Uh, that's I know. the only problem but that dude, I have with it. I mean, here's a chick that served very honorably in the U.S. Armed Forces. She's been deployed to Iraq. She had no issues whatsoever. She's honorably discharged. She Speaking ran. of which, do you know who hasn't been she, deployed to Iraq? <laughs> the funnel cake dad. The funnel cake dad that's now running for vice president. Jesus Christ. I, uh, no, mm. and 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 uh, and she ran f- as a Democrat, mind you. Yes, for, for president. Like and and like fucking dude. The biggest slam dunk I've ever seen on Kamala Harris in that debate. Too. 100%. Like what the f- and it was all true and Kamala Harris couldn't say a fucking word cuz she knows it's true. I've been a Tulsi Gabbard fan ever since then. I'm a huge Tulsi Gabbard fan I, and really I even became more of a Tulsi Gabbard fan when I was really looking at going into the tactical games which Natalie's cancer uh Wes, mm-hmm. that's one of the things I did have to give up. I was going to go compete in the tactical games in Iowa um and was talking about it on Instagram. I followed Tulsi and uh, she and I actually started talking back and forth because she's a huge advocate for the tactical games, too. Mm-hmm. And we literally spoke back and forth. I was like, oh, my God, I love this chick. She's even better than before. And guess and what? So, I'm sorry. I didn't she's mean to go off on a tangent. hot. She's very hot. Uh, she's, Jesus. She's she's intimidating. She reminds me you know of fucking I mean? like, Storm from X-Men because of that maybe. gray, that gray yeah, streak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, she's a little intimidating. I, I like sluttier chicks or whatever. But, 
Um, but no, anyway. she's uh, she is cool, and I have a lot of respect for her. And I could not fucking believe that yesterday. Like I, I was like yeah. kind of fucked up over it all it did, day. Yeah. It really angered me bad. It, it fucked yeah, it fucked me too. But I wasn't gonna bring it up. Okay. Uh, yeah. But uh, I'm glad I did. Then yay. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck, I didn't mean to bring everything. No, down. you're okay. I but, just feel like you know. But like, moving, I just think that. Everybody says that Donald Trump's a dictator, and I'm like, but yeah, but that's some dictator. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that is some fucking dictator. Shit. The hypocrisy of the media on both sides is absolutely overwhelming. Yeah. On both sides, I fucking hate I, Donald I, Trump. I, 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 I there's I, no way I could vote for this bitch. I just, you know what I mean? Uh, like this is more of the same. I don't know. I, I agree with you 100. percent I just like both. And uh, God, I, I don't. Which know. one am I going to pay less? taxes which one am i gonna fucking pay less at the grocery store which one am i gonna pay less at the fucking quick trip for gas all that stuff I i've already did i've already been there before i, I know we go one. down that road it sucks my whole deal is i just i despise the media 100 percent. i don't oh, care what yeah, side it is 100%. i despise them all fuck them all i, I love how they went from literally in 24 hours he's as sharp as attack to <laughs> okay he is not going to continue to run <laughs> like, wait what i thought wait yeah and yeah and then to add on top of that uh this vice president is the least popular vice president of all time to yep. she's the best thing since sliced bread yeah dude she's the new obama she's the new now. god like yeah. literally it's, it's so weird it's just so one side i will give it's it great. i will give yeah. it to democrats and the mainstream media they are fucking good at that JR, yeah. like they are so good at staying on task like that and just switching it the fuck up with the wind yeah like whatever the talking point is everybody is all in I like 110 percent. there's no no one waves from it well at let's all. let's get off of that okay. and, go, and go back to the olympics because I, we cannot all i'm saying is maduro 24 that's <laughs> that's, that's, that's all i'm 100%. saying 100 percent. yeah anyways uh, i did want to bring up the australian break dancer did you see the videos of that this? was the dumbest fucking thing i've ever seen in the olympic history that was embarrassing this dude was, this this woman was from <laughs> is, is from australia at least at this point she might be asked to leave after this dude performance. she was so cocky before she went up there too because and then she's it was a like, professor of break da- like <laughs> she, no seriously she seriously Shut that's her up. job Are you serious? at a university serious? she's the professor oh. of break dancing theory and something something whatever university is that <laughs> yeah they're gonna be like we're gonna go a different way <laughs> oh <my laughs> we're gonna, holy sh- well this you know what they look- say those that can't do teach <laughs> yeah <laughs> so true. there you go this chick looked like a six-year-old throwing a temper tantrum oh, on the floor so bad it was so, so bad. bad oh god and that's why i say maybe she's not australian anymore she may have gotten kicked out of the country uh it was Oh, it was so fucking awful. But the memes that are coming out about it are absolutely fucking hilarious. Oh, they're keep, great. Keep doing that. That yeah. makes that makes yeah, my day that's actually fun. so much happier. Um, and then uh, the last thing I'm going to say about the Olympic uh, closing ceremony. Did you see the Olympic closing ceremony? It hasn't happened yet. But how gay was that? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it was just all trans people. That was weird. And everyone had their dick out. I mean, not out. They just held it because it had been cut off. But still. Come on, JP. Didn't didn't you have a good time? Wasn't it good for you? I'm not having a good time. (laughs) I don't know that I've ever had a good time over here. (laughs) Yes. I feel like after this show, we're going to have to give JP a list of resources that he can reach out (laughs) for for mental health. Oh, that was another question for Uh like a battered wife like there's places you can go jp <laughs> i just can't take it anymore. you don't have to deal with this you should connect him to your th- old therapist named brennan yes yeah no. that'd be perfect you could bang him <laughs> i'm sure <laughs> If, Steve, if Steve's already been there, I don't want... It, that's like fucking somebody's I think that ex. office closed, actually. Yeah, I think <laughs> they're like, hey, once we're... Steve's been there, that dude's not going to be right. <laughs> I like my current therapist, though. She's a nice lady. Yeah, yeah. good. Brennan yeah. was kind of a pussy. Yeah, this chick is cool. Like <laughs> well, She's she's uh, more of a man than Brennan, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, yeah, that's, that's so fucking hey, awesome. Look, Dude, Scotty, I hope Scotty's this guy commercial. listens to our show. I swear I hope he listens to our show. Oh, there's no way. Dude, we've... he's just writing down little facts every time. Like, oh. This is more of a reason I'm going to kill him. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's more break dance. Oh, no. Him. There was one thing I did want to bring up about the last thing about the Olympics, and we'll move on. Mm-hmm. Um, there was a bronze medaler from the United States. He won it in like fucking skateboarding or something like that. Okay. And, and he took his bronze medal out like, mm-hmm. with, and let a whole bunch of friends put it on and like nice. whatever. That's fun. Those medals apparently are pieces of shit 
It was like deteriorating by after 24 hours. It was it's not disc- real bronze. Oh no, or whatever. it was like discolored as fuck. It was just like the most piece of shit kind of a thing. I mean, it was heavy. It was yeah. heavy. Well, I mean, you can make anything heavy. You just put weights I, in it. I but. swear to God, it was spray painted. Hmm. That's what it looked like. It was spray painted it. that color, and that was it. I think we're going to make metals. We should. Yeah, yeah we should. Oh, that'd for be sure. Oh, yeah. That'd be the new laughing on the sidelines thing. I like it. Uh, but last but certainly not least. <laughs> the laughing on the sideline Olympics. I know what event I'm going to enter. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Dick sucking. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> And he'd win. He'd be, he'd be so undefeated. He'd like be the every favorite. year. He'd be the favorite. One day, Scott would be like, "All right, <laughs> <laughs> I licked it." <laughs> be like Michael Phelps in the fucking breaststroke or some exactly. shit. That'd be that'd be JP There's in the thirty nine gold medals, <laughs> thirty seven uh, ticks. <laughs> she saw thirty seven yeah. ticks in a row. Uh, and the last, but certainly not least. <laughs> Last thing. We, we've all seen Clerks, right? 37. Yes. That's yeah. amateur numbers. I know. <laughs> you got to get those numbers up. Then she, yeah. then she storms out. He's like, try not to suck any dick while you're out <laughs> yeah. there. That dude turns around and follows. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> uh, Sorry. Uh, the last is certainly not, not least, guys. If you are in the UK, please do us a favor and do not share this episode anywhere so we can get fucking extradited and, uh, and arrested. No one listens in the to UK. this in the UK. Yes, there's actually people that listen to the no, UK. No, there isn't. Uh-huh. Uh, but yes, the, Where? this was the first in uh, New Hamptonshire. No. Or you know, it's some off the wall place. Maybe. I don't know. But uh, but no, there was a UK judge on Friday sentenced a man for 20 months in prison for using his Facebook friends to target a hotel housing uh, migrants. What? Yeah. What does he, that mean? He, he basically made a post that said every man and his dog should smash the fuck out of the Britannia Hotel, which is, I guess, a hotel there somewhere. And so they went to his fucking house and arrested him, and he has now been sentenced to 20 months in prison. I had Encyclopedia Britannica when I was growing up. <laughs> I know I know a guy that incited a riot at the Capitol, but he didn't do any prison time. Hey, I actually know some other things <laughs> I, that were incited in other places, not just the Capitol, but how about like Minnesota, where they burned the fucking city to the ground and yeah. it was incited by social yeah. media posts. Nobody went to jail there. Yeah. And if they did go to jail, they actually got bailed out by right. the vice president. Right, right, right. So well, I love how it's always freedom of speech until they need to censor you. Exactly. Yeah. You right. know? That's when it's when it's like, all right, we're all going to meet here, break out the windows of this department store and steal shit. They're like, that's just freedom of speech. That's why I think Russia's <laughs> but, got the right but idea. But when you call somebody a dick <laughs> yeah. and they're like, you fucking piece of shit, we're going to yeah. kill you and rape your family. Oh, no. Like, like there's there's actually like a fucking like police chiefs from the UK that came on and like did a statement and stuff. And he's got like four uh, Middle Eastern people behind him. It looks kind okay. of sketch. Kind of looks we, like the casting couch. That we the, I mean, at its core, the guy's <laughs> a dick for sure. Oh yeah. But I mean, I guess if you don't, what is it? You have to have like elements of a crime. So if he doesn't have the ability or the the opportunity or the means and shit like that to actually do anything, then what crime can he really be? I mean, I guess it's the UK though. They don't have. Yeah, a they first don't amendment. have a First Amendment. That's the whole point. That's what I'm that trying to sucks, make. Dude. Is we're very lucky to be in a in a country right now to where you don't have that particular issue at least yet, um, but it's coming. Just saying there's going to be one more amendment. <laughs> no. The amendment to end all amendments. <laughs> Scotty can't speak. I can speak whatever the fuck I want to speak. Uh, but no, that uh, that is this week's hot topics, and I hope you enjoyed all of our takes from it. And. Uh, Boy, what we got through fuck, it, dude. We got through it. Pistol dueling was an actual Olympic event in 1906, 1908. Two men with protective equipment would fire wax bullets at each other. Yeah, it's Why true. the fuck are we not doing that? I don't know. That was that I would be amazing. A, I had a guy fo- uh, fucking shoot wax bullets at me last <laughs> night. <laughs> It's not oh, as bad as you no. think. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's actually that a true story. It was good. it was actually a dueling. We thing. should do that with paintball guns. I love it. That's let's a fun do idea. that. Okay, dude. we I, should yeah. do more things. You know what we I mean? Should. Yeah, we, we should. should. We're all so busy though. We all have our different that schedules. That is true. But I'm not too we, busy to duel somebody yeah. with a paintball gun. Have you heard gun my week Scotty's week backyard backyard. for the last year? I was trying. That's to, true. I was trying to be nice to people like me and Steve. JP has time to plan these events. Yeah. He could set him up. I mean, you could. <clears throat> I mean, you, I mean, you have to go. You have to th- also think of Jeremy Joseph's schedule, Derek's schedule. Correct. I'll do all the planning. Okay. 
But we need cameras. We need fucking. Oh, don't worry. All of us have phones. Yeah, just ten paces. No, we're not doing phones. Just do four. Somebody else would have to count. I've got a buddy that fucking has all that good equipment. Somebody else would have to count the paces. Where the fuck has this been? He has a recording studio. And where the fuck has this been? Why haven't you introduced me to this guy? I've been looking for camera equipment. What are you doing? Uh oh, dude. I'm sorry. I don't know. He's freaking out. He's freaking out, folks. We've been talking about getting a new Anyways. setup and desk for like fucking a year, and you haven't followed. Yeah, through, where's the so. couch? I oh, swear to God. Couch. I swear to God on everything, Holly. I'm going to lose my shit. If anybody would like to donate fifteen grand to the show, let me know. That's all you had to say. I'm sure it's going to come rolling in <laughs> now. We'll set up an God. OnlyFans, yeah, uh-huh. only for fans. Scotty, yeah. That has a that has a uh, <laughs> fucking it's uh, uh, only socks. GoFundMe <laughs> attached. Jesus Christ. Only anyway. socks. It's just Scotty doing shit in socks. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be all right. He's just sliding around his house naked in yeah. socks. Yeah, yeah. actually, uh, I-, I told you this before, but um, oh, who's the comedian that you think is hot as shit? I, Matt, it's Rife. Matt Rife. Matt Rife uh, actually had an idea, and he was going to make special socks so he could fucking socks, and they were called sheet cleats. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to get. You go. We just need some sheet cleats. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. All right, guys. Uh, that is Hot Topics. Now we get to move on to Never Have I Ever. I have. Thank you guys so much for participating in Month Day Fun Day. Yeah, uh, right. <laughs> uh, and, and as always, JP, <laughs> JP, what do I always say? You guys had some great questions, and I picked the best ones. Yeah, that's what you say. We actually did have some good ones. I must say. Did you pick them? I, maybe. Depending well, on maybe. What, depending on what you think of them. Okay, well, I'll let you know. I told Steve. I get Steve. I get a text message from him, and he texts me, and he goes, he goes, man, this is fucking awesome. A lot of these are good. And I'm like, do me a favor. Like the ones that you like, and those are the ones I pick. And okay. guess what? He did. Mm-hmm. Okay. Not do that. Right. So I, you're leaving it up to me again. Mm-hmm. So I thanks. knew we were making some mistakes, but at least now we're finding out. We're pointing them out, <laughs> and we need to fix them. <laughs> <laughs> that we've we've got them all out on the table. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's fix them. All right, sounds all good. Right. But anyways, thank you for participating in Monday Fun Day. Let's move on to Never Have I Ever. The very first one comes in from Reese Newland. He wants to know: Never have I ever shaved my nuts with a straight razor? Fuck no, no. Yes. Who the fuck does that? No. With a straight razor? I have one. Why would you do like that? Like an open, like How would mafia you style. Like fucking fuck that. Where would you even get one of those? I, I, I did. Oh, not like one. Oh, not like like a, the Sweeney Todd. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I no, have not. Everybody shave their nuts with a bick. We're okay. talking about yeah. a fucking. Sorry, we're talking my about bad. an actual straight like, razor. A straight razor. Straight straight razor. razor. I got you. No, I have not done that. I apologize. Okay. No, no I one has. I misunderstood. Other than Reese Newland. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Holy shit, my dude! God, that he, is a fucking man. You know what? I have to say this. Out with like a butterfly knife thing. Whoa. There are very few of these that I could answer. Never. I yeah. never have. Yeah. And that's one. <laughs> it's one. That's probably the first one in a long time. I'm like, nope, never done that. Have no, you ever sucked your own dick? Well, yeah, I've done that. <laughs> I still But I never shaved my nuts works. with a straight razor. No, I've never done it with a straight razor, but definitely wow. all of us all of us have done That's just suicide. All of us have used like a fucking like a shaver though thing, right? Yeah, and by the way, your little fucking lawnmower piece of shit thing still nips your nut bag. Uh, yeah. It does. It does. Of course it does. It can, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Just saying, what? I did that the other day. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. You want me to rub it? <laughs> Had a little rub bleeding. It you. you want me to kiss it for you? <laughs> yeah. Just don't uh, suck on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We won't go down that road again. Fine. Uh, next one comes in from Joseph Edward uh, Busson. Busson. Oh, okay. I like that. Okay. Joseph Edward Busson. Uh, he wants to know, never have I ever celebrated a birthday by myself. I did it on purpose. <laughs> I'm serious. I did. I I didn't want anybody to celebrate my 40th birthday because I felt like it was like midlife crisis. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like a. It's a. Obviously, everybody wants more birthdays, but as they come, they just get here faster and faster and faster. And 40 was depressing as fuck, dude. I can only imagine what 50 is going. 50 is going to put me in a fucking mental institution, dude. Mm -hmm. Dude. I don't. That's when everybody starts getting sick. Yeah, you know what I mean. 30 was hard for me. Yeah, and so forty is going to be even, whoa. Forty was hard. brutal, dude. I didn't want anybody. I didn't want anybody to know. Mm-hmm. I didn't want anybody to celebrate it. I didn't want any. I didn't want. Yeah, I did not. No, fuck that. Um, Negative, senor. Yeah, yeah Negative. I've, I've I've celebrated a birthday by myself, 
Absolutely, mm-hmm. I have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's because you don't have any friends. That's what I was getting ready to say. Well, you gotta I was going to say, my birthday's four days after Christmas, I too, didn't. so I rarely have like birthday parties. I don't oh, think I've ever, oh, thanks, I think twice in my life, I've had a birthday party. Oh. No, I've never celebrated a birthday by myself. I have once. It was my 25th. <sighs> Why? Because I literally, I'm not even kidding, I sat in bed and cried. Why? Because I was closer to 30 than 20. Yeah. And in gay years, it's over. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, that uh, sounds pretty gay. Dude, it, uh, I love it. Yeah, that's it was, awesome. Uh, and I'll tell you what, you. it hasn't been uphill. It's been uphill since then. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, well, you're doing pretty good. You yeah, look healthy. Good. Oh, I'm yeah. fucking gr- Are you kidding me? Yeah, you look great. That's yeah, awesome. Thank you. Well, I mean, you can't. you can't get anything if you're not fucking so True. and that's Bam. so you're doing Bam. well i'm doing good you're man. doing good man i can't believe how good i'm doing yeah jp is monkeypox free i've got yeah that's true god that's, damn that's, <laughs> that's all we have to yeah we have to i don't know about the aids but the monkeypox <laughs> i know you don't have that i don't uh, have aids either there you go <laughs> okay anymore good. exactly <laughs> it's like herpes it just you just get it, it once away. and then it just, just goes away just get rid of them it's, yeah. it's not that hard yeah. uh next one <laughs> <laughs> Next one. <laughs> I swear to God, they're high. all right. I like all of them. No all wonder I can't get laid. Everybody thinks I have AIDS. <laughs> While well, you're drinking cherry Coca Cola, and all of our gay listeners are listening to this, going, "Holy shit! What the fuck?" I love it. Yeah. Uh, next one comes in from Alan Moravec. Uh, nice. He wants to know: Never have I ever hit on a chick at the bar and ended up with being trans. What? What? Uh, I got married before that all started. <laughs> oh, I got it now. I was like, "What? Never ever I never have I ever hit on a chick at the bar, and, and then, that person they, that ended person, up yeah. being trans." Okay. Yep. Yep. I yeah. hit on a dude at the bar that was trans. Huh? I thought it was a dude. I thought it was a guy, and it wasn't. It was a chick. Yeah. Did she have no, a vagina? She trans. Okay. Yeah, she still had her vagina. Oh. Or he still had her vagina. I don't know how that works. <laughs> I don't either. I think he still had her vagina. Because Are you assuming be our pronouns? Vagina. I don't know Dude, how that here's would the work thing. either. I hope that the gay people that listen to this show don't fucking hate me. I think you're the only the gay person gay. that listens to this <laughs> show. No, that's gay. not true. Really? Yeah. No, no, not at all. He's definitely not a pride gay. Uh, I yeah. did. You're uh, just not. You're the kind, you're the person that I love hanging around and love saying he's my friend because it's just it's just I love JP. I don't love yeah. him because of anything else other than who he is. He likes it when I suck his dick. And exactly. That, and that, but he you have to shave. But it's just JP, first. so it's yes. not gay. Yeah. So it's yeah. yeah. That's exactly. weird. I went to do a show at the Knoxville Pride Center one time nice um and i'm a heavier set guy with a beard and i love the chicago bears and i had on a bears hat and a bears jersey <laughs> and i was like i think i might be sending the wrong fucking message here did you have a uh, Birkenstocks with socks no, because, <laughs> no. <laughs> so my first joke was to clarify that i'm just a big fan of the chicago bears <laughs> and i'm not advertising my beardum <laughs> at the That's gay awesome. place i yeah. didn't buy a drink all weekend <laughs> <laughs> exactly, it was awesome. I believe that. Uh, my oh, ass hurt afterwards, but <laughs> my God, I was drunk the whole time. Exactly. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, no, I have never done this. Um, I haven't either. I've like never, I said, I got married before this was a thing. Yeah, I, th- I did too. I mean, it was still a thing. Okay, you remember my first uh, my first uh, interaction with this or whatever you want to call it was Crocodile Dundee. Okay. Right? Remember when he was <laughs> dancing with what he thought was a hot chick? And the guy's like, no, you got to go grab her package. <laughs> and then he went, and then no, that's not a knife. That, all right. I don't know what exactly what happened. But that's uh, so. I, I, yeah. I didn't think that that was a thing. She's got ever. a penis. And my, then, um, but it is. No, so, yeah. My, my very first experience with this was actually Ace Ventura, pet detective. Oh, yeah. That was, Einhorn uh, is a man. Einhorn is yeah. a man. Yeah. Finkel and Einhorn. Finkel and Einhorn. Your gun is Einhorn. digging into my hip. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit yeah uh, uh, yeah all right that's why mr Podactor is dead he found captain <sighs> winky, winky. <laughs> <laughs> remember when he was taking the plunger and trying to like <laughs> 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 uh, yeah that's uh, it used time. to be uh <laughs> trans stuff used to be way more fun than it is now uh now it's it's not as fun yeah at all true it's, uh anyways okay we're gonna move on to the last one i actually got an extra 
one for this week because I I need some explanation. What in the <laughs> fuck? Let me say what it is first. You got rid of all this other stuff, but you kept this one. I did. What I did. the fuck is Hold wrong with Hold you? Hold on. Let me say what it is before everybody freaks out. Uh, this comes in from Michael A. Ferrero Jr., uh-huh. which means... Yeah, somebody was proud enough to name him after himself. Uh Uh, But he wants to know, never have I ever sat in a weird position and made the tip of my dick fall asleep. Is that possible? I don't think so. I don't think that's possible. I don't think it's possible at all. I think he has a blood flow issue. I do, too. You might want to see a doctor. (laughs) You do. Definitely. Yeah. Um, I no. Go no. see a gynecologist immediately. Sometimes I've sat on my hand to get and let it fall asleep, so you get a, a hand stranger. Jo- a stranger. Yeah, I've done that before. Oh. Yeah, but, I'm just uh, fat, so when I sit on the toilet for too long, my feet fall asleep. <laughs> that too. Yeah, that that'll too. that'll happen. Uh, that, just definitely. get him amputated, like Derek. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Then I never have to, worry, have to worry about, worry about, it about that anymore. Derek's gonna be so confused. He's gonna come on the next episode. And I'm gonna go. What's Dude, up, this is, <laughs> this is just that is so strange. Like I don't. That's a weird question. I don't think I've ever heard heard of that before i almost want to tie a string around my dick to see if it's possible i don't think that's i don't think that's how that happened i don't know i don't, I don't know but uh jp's gonna look it up i gotta know i gotta find out who this guy is <laughs> <laughs> but to answer your question no huh. i have no never, i have never no, done this at all uh jp have you ever done this no okay. i don't think that's a thing i don't think it's possible uh, well, but anyways, apparently it's possible. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know if it is or not. Um, but anyways, yeah. Uh, so that was never have I ever. Now we get to move on to JP's favorite part of every single episode. Yay! This is that's where I draw the line. Yeah, I'm very excited. We uh, we're this, drawing lines. We're drawing lines. Uh, first one comes in from Timothy Holt. Okay. He wants to know how gay is too gay when messing with a coworker. JP? Yeah, buddy. I don't think there is a line. I figured you wouldn't. No. Mm. No, there's no. There's no line there. So what he's talking about is gay chicken. And mm-hmm. and guys do that. Oh, uh, I wish that somebody would play with me. <laughs> I would pretend to be like, oh, I don't know. Isn't Jeremy the 1982 T-ball champion? Yeah. 1984. Okay. Yes. Well, JP is the gay champion of all years he's yeah. been alive. He's the gay chicken champion. Gay chicken champion. Yeah. Sorry. Absolutely. Man, that's hot. Yeah. I he is, he has play. never <laughs> lost at gay chicken. No. Ever. Weirdly Ever. enough. I, Ever. I, uh, yeah, no. I, like, where's the line? Where's the line? I don't see it. I'm looking. Uh, well, I mean, no, I'm asking Steve. So you, for 10 years, I was back and forth between Afghanistan, Iraq, and the U.S. Uh, working with military guys that I was embedded with. So I even had a cat card, a little common access card that actually said that I was in the Army at one point, even though I was never in the Army. Thank um, you for making that absolutely totally clear, in, unlike our fucking vice president nominee. Oh, yeah. That guy's a <laughs> douche. Uh, anyway... Um, Gay chicken, when you're sitting around a, a fob or like a fire base or something like that, because you have nothing to do, yeah. is it's a pretty fun sport. Like, <laughs> it's, it's pretty good. Um, I don't think I've... I've heard uh, stories, man. Don't, yeah. even, don't even look at me uh, like you're surprised. It's, sometimes it's, it's a little wilder than other times. It's, I don't, I've seen some shit. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> I've seen some shit. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh-huh. Yeah, that's why our guys are coming back all fucked up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I can't believe I sucked the dick just to win gay chicken. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's obviously too far. That yeah. that right there is too far. Touching yeah. it, touching it is too far. Uh, kissing, it's kind of like kissing the, is too far. It's kind of like the would you rather suck ten dicks once or one dick ten times? <laughs> and the best answer I've heard with that is if you suck one dick ten times, that's commitment, and you're fucking gay. <laughs> But if you suck ten dicks once, that's just that's just a dare. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Look, I, li- I like the way we're going. I like where we're so going. So that's with that's it. military <laughs> gay chicken in a nutshell. There right there. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next one <laughs> comes in from Connor Pusser. Connor. Yeah, with Connor, that's a real name. Connor with a K. Okay. And Pusser, Pusser with, with a, a B. B. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, that kid was not (laughs) fucked with growing up. That kid, that guy probably weighs 350 pounds. He has 2% body fat and will kill anyone that looks at him wrong. Fuck everybody up. Uh, Connor wants to know, what is a good drink to cigarette ratio? That was one to one, right? Yeah. 
Huh? Is it one to one? No, it's one to one. I think it's a pack to one. A uh, pack to one. Dude, I chain smoke when I drink. That's why I don't drink anymore too. Uh, but dude, I smoke. I bet you I'll go through two packs of cigarettes in a five hour period. Well, and see, I've whoa, I've whoa, whoa that is even, that's dude, awesome. I, one after another. I, I, I you know what? I commend you. Yes. I commend right. you for doing that and not bitching out and vaping. Like yeah, somebody I know. I don't. <laughs> I, I think the vaping makes you look like a fucking tool. But <laughs> rather yeah, be a tool than a fag. Me. I feel anyways, like I feel like true. I feel like the uh, vaping is almost worse for you than no. It's 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 scientifically less harmful. It's still fucking harmful, but it's not oh. scientifically. Yeah, because it's been around. I just think so you look long. cooler with a cigarette. Oh, I I when you I was, know they used to say cigarettes was safe. Yeah. Uh, well, they yes, used to be prescribed sure. by doctors. They, they were. Yeah. Trust See? the science. Remember, uh, speaking of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, Grandpa Joe got um, uh, prescribed tobacco. That is yeah. true. Yeah. See, that is true. Yeah. See, Grandpa Joe up. was a piece of it's shit. It's all is, come for old circle. He is a piece of shit. He was shit. such a piece what of a shit. What a piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Guy just lays in a bed his entire, like, fucking later half of yeah. his life. and then he can't go to fucking work, but yep. as soon as he gets a golden ticket, he can jump up and dance like an asshole. I'm going to I'm going to go on Fuck you. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, good. Uh, like the, the other thing is, is okay, a cigarette to drink ratio, I'm going to go two beers for every cigarette. That would be okay. what mine is. But I didn't really smoke a whole lot of cigarettes. I chewed. And that's why I ah, went to vaping yep. was because my wife hated seeing my spit bottles all over the house. I see. I like yeah. it. And she may or I may not. I did used to chew. I used ha- to chew she, Copenhagen. She also may Snuff. or may not have accidentally drank out uh, of one of those spit I bottles. Gross, I did that dude. at a baseball game once. <laughs> that's disgusting. So, yeah. So now do you think it's okay that I switch to vaping? Yeah. Then no. shut the fuck up. No, I think she should just man <laughs> up and drink your spit. What what was your what was your ratio down there, Steve? I think one it's one to one, one I guess. One I don't one? know. I've okay. never been a smoker. I guess I'm two to one. Two drinks to every one cigarette. Okay. And last one comes in from Gordon or sorry, Jordan Gresham. He wants to know what is <laughs> <laughs> dyslexia got me. Oh there. my god. Jordan Gresham wants to know what Gordon is Jordan Gresham. <laughs> Jordan Gresham wants to know what is the least amount of clothing you can wear to the state fair and still be accepted. Jordan has obviously never, never been, been to, to the, the Kansas state, yeah. state fair <laughs> right? because it's zero. Yeah. Like if you've got body paint on your dick, I think you're, you're fine. fine to get in. I was yeah. getting ready and to I say, don't even think you're going to turn any heads either. I, I mean, I, it's, it's, it's the people of Riverfest <laughs> went to the fair. Yeah. Like that's so what happened. Here's the thing at the fair though. The, the way that it works, it's not who you want to see in the lit. The no, least. no, it's fuck the bigger no. you are, yeah. the least clothing they oh, wear. Oh, dude, I don't right? want to see a chick with no. hail dents all over her fucking legs no. painted into a bodysuit. Yeah. That's fucking disgusting. And yeah. then when they have to roll her tit up, like they're lifted up over her head just to paint underneath, it's fucking disgusting. Mm. I think it's, um, I think it also depends on what state fair you're talking about. So, like the Kansas State Fair we're describing right now, that's, yeah, exa- that's be, what it is. The, the the people who have horrible body odor because they're of a certain size, mm-hmm. those are the ones that are mm-hmm. normally not wearing any clothes. Mm-hmm. Now, if you go to like I don't know Texas State I Fair, been there. I same don't know. thing. I bet. Uh, no, sir. What about does like New York have a state fair, like a posh like state fair? You know, I don't know. I'm sure they do. Upstate New York is one of the most beautiful places I've ever say, seen in my. It's got to be life. probably in like Buffalo or some shit. New York, yeah, the, like New York City, doesn't have enough. No, like, no, no, pride. no, no. No, they've got but, uh, they've got like markets and shit though. But no, uh, so I want like if you if you've ever heard. Uh, okay, so obviously the Texas State Fair is whenever Oklahoma plays Texas. The Red River Shootout. Okay. Um, no, there are drop dead gorgeous tens walking around with practically nothing on. That's awesome. It's pretty fucking cool. Yeah. yeah. Dude, this guy really sat at his computer or her phone mm-hmm. and typed in, never have I ever sat in a weird position and made the tip <laughs> of my penis fall asleep. Dude, I, I mean, and that then, is. And then hit submit. <laughs> and I love how he's probably like. And I picked it. I love how he's probably like, like you know, guys, like, like you know, yeah, like, yeah, it happens, happens all the time, like before. right. And then everybody's uh, like, "What? No, dude, no, I, no." I, while we're going back, that I thought about it since That's not we healthy. talked about. It. I that have, is not good dick health. I have at all. definitely accidentally sat on one testicle before, and that was probably the most painful. I've done thing. that. That yeah, hurts. I've done that. Yeah. Or or when you get fucking kind of flicked in the nut, oh, and it takes worst. a minute, yeah. and then oh, once and it then, hits you, oh. it's like, oh yeah. fuck, yeah, it's bad. But never had the fuck. <laughs> tip fall asleep. No, that is very odd. Like, how would you <laughs> wake up? How would you do wake that? Up, like, how no. would you? 
Would you sit on the tip of it or something, maybe? I, or? I don't know. Just, I, you know what? We should try it. We should do like a cinder block test where you just kind of lay the cinder block on the tip. I think we need just rubber bands or yeah, something. I, was I don't say, know. Cinder block seems like a, a... That's a lot of weight. Maybe, maybe we should start slower. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Than that. Oh, that man. is really fucking intriguing. I'll just lay my dick on the curb and you run over it with your truck. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see what happens. It's gonna fall off. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm I'm a hundred percent certain. I'm I'm watching later parts of this show happen <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyways, uh, after going back from Never Have I Ever, back to Ugh. That's Where I Draw the Line. That is That's Where I Draw the Line. Thank you guys so very much. Appreciate it. But and now, now we get to the fun stuff. We get to move on to questions and pregnant questions and fucking uh, a. Fucking a. Is that what you said? Fucking what you a. Said. Fucking a. These are all good ones. Uh, yeah, so we're going to kick this off with at Ian Smoke PW. He wants to know, instead of medals, what should the Olympic athletes get? I have an answer for this. So do I. What do you Me got? Me too. What, uh, 1% of the uh, revenue that was generated from people watching their sport. Just like the World Agreed. Series of Poker. Yeah. Like if it's swimming and there's a fuck ton of people that watch swimming, then like at the end of the swimming, there's like this pile of money that yeah. they just take with them. Yeah. But if it's break dancing, then, you know, here's a couple silver dollars. Yeah. yeah you know, I, I get, something I get like that. I think so. I think it's a good idea. How about you, JP? I think instead of medals. Okay. They should get. What does it have to do with dicks? Blowjobs for me. There you go. <laughs> okay, fine. We knew it. As there long as they're a French pole vaulter. Yeah. Correct. Or swimmer or diver or uh, <laughs> wrestler or um, anything I, French. I, yeah. think, I think they should get 72 virgins. <laughs> there uh, you go. Moving uh, on. <clears throat> now we get to go on to. Speaking of the Muslims, <laughs> I had beef bacon today. Did you? Yeah, it was kind of different. Yeah. It really was. It was. Uh, Any particular reason? No, just bought it okay. at the farmers art mart or farmers market or whatever yeah. uh, from Holy Cow. I love those people. <laughs> That's that, a good name, the, dude. It's all grass fed, grass finished beef. I love it, and it's good I stuff. get it every single weekend. Um, I would, I would, I don't know, a two, like I, I don't know. It's two out of ten. If you're in a pinch, I already don't like bacon. So. If you're in a pinch or you're a Muslim bacon. or something like that, you want <laughs> to try and do guy. some bacon, then try beef bacon. Okay. But if you want good bacon. Do not get beef bacon. So, <laughs> yeah. I love bug. Uh, I love bacon. Yeah, Jewish. <clears throat> I guess Jewish would be beef bacon too. Okay, right? fair yeah. enough. Uh, next one. Uh, John Wiggins wants to know what would be some funny orgasm sounds. Every sound Scotty makes. <laughs> <laughs> like that one. My laugh. <laughs> My laugh. Oh no, dude! There are chicks that when they orgasm, they just uncontrollably <laughs> laugh. Okay. I yeah, thought that was my that's penis. Weird. That's weird, right? That's but weird. But it's a thing. I've seen videos. That's so it's weird. usually when I take my pants off is okay. when the laughing starts. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I'm so glad he asked this question because I've been wanting to bring this up. It just never, it never dawned on me. Okay. But in the movie Forrest Gump, Mm-hmm. When that principal is railing Forrest Gump's mom, that's a good one. I'm like, yeah. What that's is a good he one. doing to yeah. that woman? What is going on? That was well, he, that wasn't the sound that that's the sound that Forrest made. No, yeah. you can hear it in the background, yeah, you can and, hear it and in it's the background. a pretty yeah, goddamn like, good. Like, yes, it, awesome. it is accurate. And I'm like, what? And yeah, so I want to know what, what is tarnation. what is that? That's my answer. I like okay, it. That's All a good right? answer. I like it. Uh, how about you guys, JP? It's like I di- mean, like dinosaur noises. That'd be pretty good. Fireworks. <laughs> fireworks. That'd be cool. Okay, that'd be all right. I'd actually be okay with the fireworks, but yeah. the mm-hmm. dinosaur noises. Just a wolf howl. Just <laughs> like as soon as you come. Like how, dude? The first time you drug a chick home from the bar and you guys are banging, and then you started coming and you just started howling at the moon. Mm-hmm. Ooh, the last one that would be terrifying for the, her. The I last. Think. <laughs> The, the last one is Derek's impression of an Irishman. This yeah, the, that's. Oh! <laughs> 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 That'd be the last one. I like it. I like it. All right. Uh, next one comes in from Lane Bays. He's back there, uh, uh, Steve. Lane wants to know. Right. <laughs> yeah. You made fun of his name last week. so I, I just, did? I, yeah, I did. You said you it's made not fun a, of everybody's name last week, you sure to be did. fair. No, um, I was drinking last week. I was not allowed to drink today per uh, my wife's instructions. <laughs> She so. said it didn't get any bigger. You got to yeah, stop. Exactly. <laughs> so, 
Uh, but anyways, Lane wants to know, what is one product in the world that a lot of people like, but you never will? Kamala Harris. <laughs> uh, fuck, man. I don't know. I that's got, a good one. No, I, mine's easy. <clears throat> really? 50% of the world loves them, and I don't. Uh, and that's tampons. I'm never going to like them. But no, I'm just not. Well, all I don't right. think you're supposed to use them. I, I know. For That's diarrhea. He uses them for yeah. diarrhea. No, was, like whenever you did like MMA or something like that, they would use a tampon if you had a bl- like a bloody nose. Yeah, when yeah. I played rugby, we had to do that. Yeah. Because we'd get fucking. They work. They're very absorbent. Um, no, um, that's not my real answer. No, I either. thought, yeah, I was going to say, like, something that people, like, really dig. I, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and go then. Uh, electric vehicles. Yeah, I'm that way, too. I, I, I agree with uh, that. Electric, agree with electric that. vehicles, it's not ready yet. I'm not going to get there. They I'm are sorry. pretty fucking cool. Though. Have you ever driven they're one? They're so expensive. Have you ever driven one? Okay, the Cybertruck, right? We've talked shit. I actually got to go up to one and was, like, fucking close to one. What? What? Your boy. Oh, boy. Fucking destroyed the Cybertruck. Who is it? Tucker Carlson. I don't care. Uh-uh. I don't. Did think you see that? Deal? I did, but I don't think everything is what that comes out of his mouth is good. Well, I think maybe. <clears throat> but no, I I went up and stood next to this cyber truck, and I did not realize how fucking huge oh, that yeah. thing is. They're enormous. God damn it! But uh, I will never. I've driven a Tesla before, and it is kind of fucking cool to drive yeah. because unlike a like a combustion engine, like when you floor it. Like it kind of goes, vroom, vroom, oh, you know no, what I mean? No, let, no dude, it gone. just takes yeah, yeah, off. Yeah. Like yeah. it's, it's kind of cool, and it was kind of cool to let it drive itself and shit like that. I don't hate electric vehicles. I think if I lived in just like a city where I was not commuting very far or something like yeah. that, and I could just have that as a luxury to just have the electric vehicle, yeah. I would do that in a heartbeat. But still have a gas powered <clears throat> car for like road trips and stuff. Absolutely, um, they, they are very practical if you if you have a small like home to work distance yeah i mean they they really are practical i i completely uh, um that is not my problem my problem is that if every single human on like in kansas had one oh that's fucking stupid um that we would have power surges like yeah that's there would be blackouts fucking dumb anybody anybody that thinks that the grid's ready for that or they're fucking smoking my favorite thing is when a charging station is hooked up to a diesel generator and somebody's trying to charge it with it it's like you're fucking an idiot or when a fucking car is pulling a diesel generator (laughs) so they can charge it as a (laughs) exactly yeah what uh, dude whatever happened to the prius Uh, model i love that because it's it's a little bit of gas but it also charges they still have hybrids i know i love that yeah i think what why don't we just slowly go from i agree gas engine into that and then into electric when it's ready like why do we have to just go balls to the wall i agree i think you're on because elon musk (laughs) well that's true that's why the the hybrids were an excellent idea if they would refine that idea i would be way more in but whenever you're going total electric there is too much shit that i don't like so that's mine but anyways okay how about you guys anything you guys got uh the view <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh i will never like that i can't believe they actually have people that watch i that have shit. no idea how that's still on the air. wow no yeah. clue how about you you got one jp bacon bacon right, really fair enough yeah no, no shit that's fine. Mm. I agree. Everybody fucking thinks I'm weird. I know I there's like something bacon. I'm going to think of. People are like, oh, I get you. When this is bacon. over. That's fine. But you don't eat bacon? What the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it took me a while to finally get there. But it, yeah. but at first, I, I kind of liked it. But now I can't stand it. Guacamole. It just oh, got I really. Like I love guacamole. It just got oversaturated. I don't it do just got guac. over. See, yeah. man, you do have some shit mm. in common, dude. Mm. Yeah. Besides um, the dick Besides sucking. that. No, not that. Yeah. Don't look at me like Sorry. that. Uh, My bad. Anyways, next one comes in from Ian Hodder. He wants to know, what would you call a hand job from a person with no fingers? Dude, I got Derek. a joke for this. <laughs> <laughs> the Derek. The Derek. <laughs> Uh no, dude. I'm just thinking like of a like a dick beat down. Like I mean, how would you do that? I probably yeah. I think they'd have to like like, like your palms. Yeah, again? I think like so. A palm job. So no fingers. You still got the hands. You still just got the palms. No. Yeah. Just use your tits. That's what, <laughs> what they're there for. But JP doesn't have any tits. Yeah, he does. I got enough. Yep, <laughs> exactly. No, I, I did uh, like a power slap is yeah. what I called. Okay. How about you guys? So I have this joke. Or I have to come up with a name for the person. Yeah. Oh. You, gotta, you gotta call it something. Oh. Palmy. <laughs> a palmy. A palmy? Yeah. 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 There we go. The oh, Arnold yeah. Palmer and not the drink. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I like that. I there like the Arnold, pa- Ar- Arnold Palmer's good. I love it. How about you, JP? So I have this joke, and it goes something like this. Uh, lately, I've been wanting to fuck a chick. Okay. 
but not just any chick. I want to fuck a pregnant chick. Okay. Because I want to know what it feels like to get a hand job from a fetus. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And it's like horrible. It. Like <laughs> it. But I would guess I will just call it the, uh, yeah. The, I don't know. The, the yeah? fetus, fetus hand job. Okay. That'll work. It's not, yeah. Okay, that's fine. I never got it accomplished, but. Yeah. I can't imagine it'd be bad. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what? Training them early. Uh, next one comes in from the that's Tom taken, McDonald. That's taking grooming to a whole new level. <laughs> this Tom McDonald had one last week, too. He sure did. He yeah, also, I from what I understand, he also has a farm. And, and an excellent and, uh, uh, rap. He's an excellent rapper. And yeah, an uncle yeah, that's yeah, a clown. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Tom wants to know uh, rejected names for a colonoscopy. Hmm. Sexual assault. A Tudor Rooter. <laughs> yeah. I like it. A colon movie. A <laughs> colon movie. No, no, that's no. true. That's, yeah, it's, oh. it's too technical, I think. No, uh, but I get it. Ouch. Mm. An ass blast. <laughs> mm. You can stick a GoPro up there and just. Hey. Whole exploration. <laughs> An exploration. Yeah, some kind of exploration. Aspir- aspiration? Aspiration. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. I think let's go with that. Okay. We're just going to call that. An that. aspiration. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. And last one comes in from call sign underscore Wombat. Now, this guy's mm-hmm. name is Chris Wells, and he is a trucker. He listens nice. every single Wednesday, and I don't give him a shout-out enough, but I, nice. I see all your stuff. But thank you very much for uh, for what you do. Thank you for taking time off your lot lizards <laughs> to listen to our show. <laughs> uh, but he's got a good question. It's what's the worst way to find out you're having a kid? Well, I think JP already had it nailed. I mean, it's when you pull your truck into the fucking truck stop and the lot lizard tells you she's pregnant <laughs> and it's yours. That's what, yep, that's that would it. be the worst way that to find out you're having a kid. Bad. I, I know. I think it's whenever all of a sudden you get a you get like some summons to court because you're now being required to pay child support. That means you already had the right. kid. Right, but if you didn't even yeah, know. That's, that's you true. Yeah. If you had no idea. Yeah, and then and you find like, out that that kid's fuck? like a piece of shit, oh, too, yeah. and you had no chance. It's Scotty's kid. Oh, of course he's yeah. a, of so course we already it's know, a piece but of shit. I'm yeah. not even lying. You know that's my like biggest nightmare. Like that's my Oh yeah. Dude, yeah, I'm not even sure. kidding. Like I'm gonna be Why yeah. do you think I suck dick? I'm yeah. telling you. Because it, it happened to my uncle. My <laughs> uncle, I'm not even kidding. It happened to your dad, too. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> Your dad had hopes and dreams. No. <laughs> no. What I'm saying is right. what I'm saying is is that my uncle did not know he even had a kid up until like he was in his early 40s. His son was 22, 23 years old. No way. Showed up on his doorstep. No way. Yeah. He he was looking for him for the longest time. Be hilarious. <laughs> He's like, all right, sport, I'm taking you fishing. <laughs> and Let's go have like a his catch. Kid, his kid's like, yeah, was, my wife said I can't. It was <laughs> so <laughs> fucked up. Like, he had been looking for him forever. And, really? And his mom was basically hiding away his existence and stuff. What? Why? What? She just... Bitches wanted. are crazy, man. I, I'm just yeah, saying. That's what they say. Bitches, bitches are, cra- are this crazy. This segment brought to you by Bitches, bitches are, are Crazy. crazy. Yeah. Suck, Suck a dick. Yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> But yeah, that that in That's my opinion, I've heard. and there was no there was no arguing with it. Like you look at those two, and you're just like, you know, holy yeah. shit, they mm-hmm. look exactly alike. So, wow. anyways, well, ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas for this week. Thank yep. you so much for participating in Monday Fun Day. Check out every single Friday; there will be a new one. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, leave a comment and let us know what you would like to be on the show. And if we uh, like it, we will give you a shout out and uh, props for what you suggested. Uh, but now we get to move on to my well, no, not my favorite, but everybody else's favorite part of every single episode. So this is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Uh, Unfortunately, JP... Okay, whatever. Weird. I'm not used to winning. I know, right? Uh, And I think it means uh, that you get to give yourself a 
blowjob. As long Again? as... Again? Yep. Yeah, that's the Man. winner. Hmm. Every week gets that. And I love it. Every week. <clears throat> Thank I God we I don't have to be again. present for said... I think uh, we need reward. to change some of these rules around the way. <laughs> I don't think we so. We have punishments. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. I don't think so. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, so last week JP did come away with the win, so that means this week he gets the championship picks. Steve gets the... Eiffel Tower picks because he came in second. Yay. And as usual, I get the first overall pick because I came in dead last. Yeah, Big surprise. Big fucking surprise. Uh, but I'm kind of excited about this week's draft. Uh, this is going to be a draft of our favorite sex positions. Our favorite fornicating okay. situations. Got it. Uh, and I get the very first overall position. And mm-hmm. uh, so I am going to pick... The you gotta take it. I'm gonna go doggy style. Okay. Bow wow wow. Yippee yo yippee, yippee yay. Yay. Yeah. You're all about dogs today and fucking, <laughs> and I don't like it. Well, you know, uh, it's, it's the best. It's a theme with you today. It is. <laughs> I feel uh, sorry for your dog. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Steve, you get the next pick. Uh, I'm gonna go with. <laughs> I'm looking these up online. Uh, I'm going to go with this thing called the Little Dipper. Okay. That's also the the nickname my penis has been given. Uh, what is the Little Dipper? Well, it says the receiving partner will have sore triceps once you both finish. For the Little Dipper, the receiving partner either uses a bed, couch, or chair to hoist themselves over their partner. Then the penetrating partner then inserts their wiener into their partner's vagina or anus. Oh, nice. Uh, the receiver then does tricep dips to move up and down on the partner's shaft. If done correctly, you should be in a T-shape formation. All right. Nice. I like it. It's, uh, yep. That one. Okay. Number one. Okay. Uh, JP, you get two in a row. All right. I'm going to go with the upside down hanging monkey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's where, it's where you have a four poster bed with the rails uh-huh. and one guy hangs upside down from his dick. <laughs> And then the other guy eats his ass. Oh, oh gosh. Goodness. Yeah. Wow. All right. That is, is that possible? <laughs> I think it would just yeah. rip the wiener off. You know, well, uh. you know what? The wiener is strong with our people. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then you get one more. And then I'm going to go with the ever popular pig bottom. Oh, okay. I don't know. What the know. hell is that? That's where you just let as many people come inside your butthole <laughs> as you possibly can. You're the pig <sighs> bottom. Holy cow. Oh, my God. That's disgusting. I thought that was a all right. Saturday night. Yeah, me yeah. too. Me too. Oh, my. Okay, uh, Steve. Oh, I'm not done yet. I know. I, I can uh, already tell. I'm going to go with closed for business. <laughs> closed <laughs> for business. Steve, uh, that's not good. That, that makes it sound like it's, you know, uh, sexual assault. Well, before I got married and after getting married, there is a lot of closed for business. Uh, <laughs> Okay. This says that uh, I don't even know how to explain this. Uh, it's a variation of the one up that allows for slow buildup. I, I don't know. It's uh, it just says the close for business. Okay. Okay. I'll go with all you right. on that all one. All right. I'm gonna. All right. All right. Scotty might fucking get second. This I'm, week. I might. I might. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, the vacuum cleaner. Okay. Um, it's kind of like the wheelbarrow, only like only y- y- you uh, get her legs up around your waist, and you just kind of start walking her all over the house, and she just starts picking shit up off the floor. That's the vacuum cleaner. Okay. Okay. Um, and then... That's interesting. It, what? It's very interesting. <laughs> yeah. uh, but then I am also going to go uh, with the, the butter churner is what I'm going to go with. Okay. It kind of looks like the pile driver, I think, a little bit there, too, so I'm going to go with that. Okay. All right. Butter churner for me. Steve? Uh, scissoring. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's a good one. Oh. I think that's a good one. You uh, know? Is it? Is that for you or is that for two chicks? That's just the one I like to watch. Okay. That's, uh, <laughs> yeah, when they mash their vaginas together yeah, and create yeah, a yeah. tunnel of suction or whatever it is. I don't know exactly what happens, but it's fun. But I think the participants better be attractive, though, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The plus size park hoppers <laughs> are not hopefully doing the scissors. They might be, but ooh, yikes. It smells like funnel cakes down there and not the good kind. What do they call those things that you. That's not the scissors. That's the hedge trimmers. <laughs> when, they, <laughs> when they do it, that's fucking. I like it. Yeah, that's Birkin, awesome. Birkenstocks are all over the floor. Mm. All right, JP, you get two in a row. 
All right, I'm going to go with the flying squirrel. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's where one partner just gets on all fours with his ass up in the air, oh, okay. and the other one jumps off the dresser. <laughs> <laughs> if I can just, yeah. Oh my God. Okay. And mm. then uh, I'm gonna go with the double rainbow. Okay. Okay. Uh, That's I, exclusively a gay position. That's where one guy's laying on the bed, and you got one guy on either side of you jerking off, and they shoot their cum at the same time <laughs> over your face. The double rainbow. <laughs> Sounds like a blind bukkake. They just missed. <laughs> The double rainbow. I, <laughs> yeah. I suggest you wear goggles. <laughs> All right, I like it. That's uh, oh, that's Jesus that's, uh, Christ. All right, okay, Steve. I just like the one where she sits on top. Oh yeah, it's cowgirl. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that cowgirl. One. Yep. I almost picked that. Okay, you didn't. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Uh, I am going to go. I don't know what it's called, but I'm going to go with uh, the washing machine. It just I thought you didn't know what it was called. No, well, it's called the washing machine, but you actually use the washing machine. Oh. You know, and the you can vibrations do a, of Yeah, the, the vibrations of oh, the washing machine. Okay. And then when you're done, you can take your socks off and put them in there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, Jamie. <laughs> yep. That's um, good stuff. I then let's see. The next one I'm going to use is all right i'm gonna use it's called bouncing babe it, it, mm -hmm. it, an exercise ball is involved if that helps okay all right that's sure yeah. man that's sure. these are ac dude. i'm actually doing ones that i've actually done so oh, that's scary well what i don't i i liked it a lot more <laughs> before you said that well that's my last pick as well okay so, yeah what do we get we get five picks yeah right? yep. yeah you yeah this is more. your you get you get your last oh pick. the 69 oh damn it that's a good yep. pick there you go very well done steve yeah and dare i ask jp yes i call this one the dmv the dmv yep it's where you go on grinder and you just type in your address and tell them your door's open and there's a little thing they just take a number when they get there <laughs> oh my and God. You, you're open from eight to five. Oh jeez, have you tried that i would you should you should no why not you should because i don't have one of those things you, yeah uh okay. oh, that's all that that's stop all that's really stopping he doesn't oh. have a ticker ticker thing yeah, correct ticket well, ladies Taker, and gentlemen, guess whatever what? You call it. I'm going to get you one. <laughs> Please do. I'm going to get you I'll one. I'll hang it right outside my bedroom door. I'm telling door. you, I think it'll be great. It'll help you Let's out. Let's do it. Maybe you'll find love. I love, love. it. I love it. <laughs> Maybe. If nothing else, I'll get laid a lot. True. So True. That's cool. Well, you know, we, we, we got to we gotta probably screen some of these dudes. Oh, we definitely. Okay. I'm just making no, sure. Yeah, not everybody okay. gets a ticket. Okay. This ain't fucking <laughs> Willy Wonka. It's got kind of some Willy Wonka shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not everybody gets a ticket. Some people just the get The show chocolate. has gone in full circle yeah. about Willy Wonka and the Chocolate right. Factory. But ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's draft. You can go and vote for us on uh, Laughing on the or Sorry, uh, Facebook.com slash Laughing on the Sideline. Or you can go to X, which is at L-O-T Sidelines. Uh, vote for whatever list you like the most uh, of your favorite fornicating positions. Uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines. Shitty situation of the week. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer. And mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, the Steve Peters... And Vorshay's Lounge. All right. Yeah. You know. Yeah, you owe sponsor. us money now. I'm a sponsor. Yeah. Yeah. He's but, finally going to get his little league jersey. Yeah. And also, <laughs> JP. <laughs> he kind of has like the Trump dance. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. He doesn't even know it either. Mm -hmm. But, anyways. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, this week's Laughing on Sidelines shitty situation. Before we get to that, we do want to again. Um, ask you guys to come out if you are in the Wichita area. Come out this this Saturday, which Sunday. Is, <clears throat> Jesus, sorry, Christ. sorry, Sunday. <laughs> I got shit to do on a Saturday for once. I can't remember. <laughs> My bad. We'll be right back. It's, it's on <laughs> Sunday. Uh, it is August the eighteenth, though. Correct. 
Yeah, okay. August the 18th right, there at 5.30 p.m. Sunday, I believe. Yeah, uh, Sunday at 5.30 5 p.m. You got that right this time. At Central Standard that Brewery. when all Scotty comedy Maynard, takes Scotty place. Scotty will be there Saturday, so if you <laughs> want to see Scotty come a day early. We're sitting there at the bar going, what the fuck? What's, what's going on? What's going this on? This isn't funny at all. Do we have any <laughs> local <laughs> listeners of this Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sure. And uh, and tickets tickets are online. But we need to figure out who they are, because if they don't show up to this, then we can just ban them from the show. Is that yeah. right? I don't yeah. think we're in any position to be banning anyone from, I don't shit either. from listening to <laughs> I don't <our> either. show. <laughs> I really don't either. Uh, but we will put a link up on our uh, Facebook and uh, Twitter to where you can uh, actually go to the link and uh, get tickets for that. Yeah. Um, I don't think they're a hundred percent sold out, but they I aren't. do. I do know it. It's pretty, it will be. It's for pretty sure. close. Every yeah. single one of them sold out. Yeah. So, so do check that out. Uh, but this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is going to be would you rather always have to shave your balls with a straight razor mm-hmm. or always have the tip of your dick asleep? I still uh, think that guy needs to go to a doctor. Yeah, that, that's just not normal. It's not. No if, one if has that's ever happening, had that happen. If it's ha- if it's happening to you, please seek medical attention. <laughs> yeah. Something happened uh, with his uh, some, with his with his um, circumcision right. yeah. and they yeah. cut they cut a nerve that they should not have cut or something probably i don't know we need to start a gofundme <laughs> yeah 100 percent. but but for mr ferraro jr yeah, yeah. uh but in for, all seriousness though like are we talking the tip the very very tip tip or are we mean like the whole head man i think just it's the, the tip <laughs> because the head the, isn't it? Well, I think it'd be worse if it was just the tip. Oh, that well, would be uh, the yeah, thing. That'd be bad. Here's the thing. <clears throat> here's the thing. Uh, if it's the tip, always asleep. That also probably means that you can't feel when you have to go to the bathroom. Right. So this probably means not. you're pissing your pants. Right. What Kinda. about if you got a paper cut on the tip of your dick? Ah, oh, I think whoa. that'd be awesome. awesome. It wouldn't matter because it's asleep. Yeah, exactly. You wouldn't know. Uh, You'd have so no later, idea. That's good. Yeah. Dude, I'm sorry, like guys. I don't think this one's even close. I will develop a new skill, and that is yep. I'm going to be shaving my nuts with a fucking straight razor. A hundred percent. Dude, I, and yeah. I I think I could probably figure out how to do it. It'd probably take me a couple of times, but... If I'm, you needed some help... You're going to get some stitches. With the logistics. Mm-hmm. No, I'm good. I can help you out. Yeah, no, JP's going to have to lift your ball bag for you <laughs> yeah. to make it more straight and smooth. Stretch it out. Okay, yeah. shave this part. Okay. Yeah. It would be uh, easier with two people. Was, it would she, be. Was that movie? She's out of my league. Wherever that dude's shaving his <laughs> shaving his balls in the fucking bathroom, and they throw the shavings out the window or some <laughs> shit. No, that was uh, that was like American Pie or some shit like that. Actually, probably. I can't remember. But yeah, I'm using a straight razor. How about you? Yeah, I'm 100. percent I'm using a straight razor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like the tip of my penis being able to feel. <laughs> yeah. I have got to go straight razor. Uh, it's a clean sweep. A cuddle heel. Yeah. Yeah. Your tip, tip of your dick being numb. That's. Yeah. I don't like that. I don't I'm like sure. that at all. I would seek a doctor. <clears throat> but if you get an infection in that cut, you're kind of screwed. Well, that's so true, I don't know. too. The tip yeah, of your dick might go numb. Too. <laughs> that would really <laughs> oh, suck. That would suck so bad. Fuck. <laughs> the tip of your dick would go because numb. Because you cut your balls. Oh. Yeah. And then, yeah, now you're fucked either way. Ouch. That seemed like it'd be my luck. Oh, man. That oh. just sounds awful. Awful and terrible. I love it. All right. Well, let's uh, let's wrap this thing up, Steve. Uh, by any chance, uh, you got a rant to go on this week? I don't today. Damn I it. really, I was just angry about the Tulsi Gabbard situation, no, so it's I wanted okay. to talk about that. But I don't have a rant this time. But next time, I think I can be drinking, and the rant comes a go. little easier when I'm. Uh, That's fair. A few drinks. In. Awesome. I, well, I, I do uh, really appreciate all you guys. <clears throat> Uh, for being able to do the show on a Sunday. It always yeah. makes it hey, a lot man, easier for I us. I appreciate you having us over to do it. How about That's those closing ceremonies? My God. Oh, man. Absolutely Yikes. ridiculous. Whoa. I couldn't believe it. Whoa. Yeah. Was that a chick? <laughs> yeah. No shit. All of them were, I think. I don't know. It was really strange. Yeah. strange. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, very you, outraged. Are you ready, by the way? <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. Very, very outraged. Fair enough. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you guys so very, very much. Thank you very much, Steve, Peters, and JP. Very, very much for being on this week. Incredible. Yeah, fucking incredible. Fucking incredible. Uh-huh. <laughs> Goddamn right. Uh, but do us a favor. If you are not already subscribed to this uh, YouTube channel, do us a favor and mm. do that. Leave a like. Leave a comment. That helps mm-hmm. grow the show, even if we're not getting paid for it. Eventually, we possibly will. There is also a twi- uh, uh, I tweeted or whatever um, trying to get us on to possibly getting on to pepperbox.tv. Is it? What's at, that? It's an actual app with a whole bunch of my favorite creators. 
would they ever pick us? Probably not. But it would oh. be definitely something I would like to do. And if we did Pepper get on that. Pepperbox TV. Pep, I'll show it to you. It's okay. fucking awesome. Right. Bunch of the gun tubers and stuff like that have gone there oh. because they are getting, um, uh, they are not making any money on YouTube because of yeah they're shit they're getting so, devalued or whatever yeah demonetized because of demonetized yeah <laughs> yeah so yeah. I'm, I'm looking into that i really would love to be able Pepper to box. will they actually probably not but it's worth a shot uh but anyways guys love it. thank you guys so very very much keep doing what you're doing and as we always like to say if you like us do us a favor and tell your friends but if you don't like us we hope you have to spend every birthday alone <laughs> 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 if you don't like us tell your enemies and until next time guys the national football league Unscripted through the preseason. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, keep, keep laughing, laughing, assholes. We will see you later. Take care. Bye.